after more than 10 years when I knew about this hotel for the first time, I stayed in Grand Hotel Poop in uh, Karl Rivari. Back to approximately 2007, I watched a great movie last holiday with Queen Latifah and Gerard Depardieu. And I fell in love with this place and of course with this hotel. And I'm still super, super happy about all these days I spent there. In the beginning, I would like to speak about all the good things you can find in this hotel, but afterwards I will also share with you some negative things you might find in this hotel. If you're interested, let's start. From outside, it looks amazing, luxurious and beautiful. All tourists who visit this city, for sure they will have a picture of this hotel and that sells in front of this hotel. Regarding the structure of the hotel, there are two parts, the river side and the park side, and they have different uh, reception. I really wanted to have this beautiful view to the river and to be somewhere in the corner of the main entrance and see, so to say, the beginning of the promenade. That's why I booked a room on the river side. The ground floor is fabulous. The staff is nice, there is also a pretty pleasant smell there. To sum it up, everything is really gorgeous. In the beginning you will get some help with your luggage and with your car in case you need to park it. When you go to the room, it has pretty special style. You might think that everything looks quite old in the Bohemia style, but in general I would say that the furniture, at least in the river side, is in good condition. They also provide you with a pillow menu, where you can choose another pillow, for example, according to your needs. They also use pretty good cosmetics, uh, Manufactura, which I already mentioned in this video about the whole city. Uh, they have a safe, which you can open and close with your card. It is actually a really good solution, that you don't have to think and press all these buttons and so on. There are, of course, some disadvantages, but we will speak about them later. There is also a very good spa, with swimming pool, a real pool, and also with a kind of a few small private pools for one, two, three people. And there are three saunas, 95 degrees Celsius, the herbal sauna and steam sauna. Besides that, of course, you can have some spa treatments like a massage, a bath or any other kind of treatments with your body. On the first floor, there is a gym with, I would say, all equipment you might need. And in general, the spa area is open from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And the gym you can start even earlier. In the morning, you're going to have a breakfast. And this area is really gorgeous. So I enjoyed this view every morning we came there. It is so beautiful. You just eat and enjoy all the views you have. In the breakfast, I would say you can also find everything you might need in the morning. You would have different types of eggs, sausages, cheese, cereals, fruits, bakery, bread, pancakes, juices, coffee and champagne. The view was astonishing. If you stay in this hotel or in general you are in the city, it is also quite recommended to go to a cafe which is located um, on the ground floor. It is called Poop Cafe. Of course, you can order tea, coffee, but also some cakes. And there is also one, so to say, famous cake, which has a recipe of more than 300 years that was created by, by Mr. Poop himself. I would say it was pretty delicious. Um, the price is there for tea around 2 euros, coffee 3 euros, and cakes approximately 4 euros. But it's really worth the trip. In the hotel you can also find a bar, it is called Becker Bar. It is open from Thursday to uh, Saturday until 2 a.m. And of course there is also a pretty famous casino where James Bond was filmed in 2006. Okay, so this was pretty um, the overview of everything you can find in the hotel. But let's speak also about maybe some negative things or experience you might find there. We can start with the room itself. First problem that occurred was the mattress and pillow. So, to be honest, the first night I really couldn't sleep. Uh, the mattress was quite hard, the pillow menu didn't help. Um, we changed once the pillow, but they still were not that comfortable as we would love to have. We normally have lots of electronics um, and we could not find that many sockets in the room. 
So basically there was only one tree and it was located not in a very convenient place. Another thing, if you are pretty sensitive when you sleep, you might experience also some problems because quite often you can hear how the water goes in the tubes. If you are 100% tired, it will not be a problem. But again, in case you are sensitive, you might hear that pretty often. Another point from my side, I would say that a five-star hotel might have a little bit better shower than the normal usual one. When you're going to a spa, and this is also kind of the spa hotel, uh, it would be also great to have a spa bag in the room. That when you're going there, you can put all your stuff in this bag. In the beginning, I told you how gorgeous everything is, especially from outside the ground floor, very luxurious five-star hotel. But the whole hotel doesn't look as the ground floor. I read in the reviews that the park side is much older than the river side. And also the furniture there is in bad condition. If you have a forest view, sometimes you are just staring at the wall. That's why if you're going to stay in this hotel, um, at least for a night or two nights, um, I would highly recommend you to spend like 20 or 30 euros more and book a room at the riverside. There is another problem with the room and basically with the outside. Close to the main entrance there is a smoking area and we were living right up to this area. And if someone is smoking and I would open the window, then all the smoke would go to the room. I would not place this area so close to the hotel. Last but not least is parking. Most probably, and I think lots of the people who are staying in this hotel, they come with their own car. Uh, of course, you have to pay for parking, but the fee is 15 euros per night. Quite expensive, but besides that, it is an open parking lot. So if it's raining, snowing, or if it's windy, your car is completely not protected. So, and again, it costs 15 euros. There is another problem. If you are coming with an electric car, you can charge it there, but it has some specialty. Um, it was one of my questions, so that's why I called to the hotel in advance to ask in general if there are any possibilities to charge the car in the city. So I was not even thinking about the hotel because they didn't write anything on their website. But the lady at the reception said, oh, no worries. So if you can bring your cable, it should be completely fine to charge your car. So I said, great. Of course, we have our cable. And when we came there, um, yes, you can charge your car, you need a cable, we have a cable, but from 220 watts, yeah? And when you plug it in there, um, it would take around 14, 15, 16 hours to charge your car fully. It is not a three-star hotel. And just for your information, to install a wall box for a hotel would cost 1,000, 2,000 euros. So I believe these are the investments that the hotel can do. That's it from my side, but as I said, I'm pretty happy anyway about all these days in the hotel and that I had a kind of the same experience as Queen Latifa in last holiday. Would be happy to read your comments, answer your questions and of course enjoy your stay in Karlovy Vary.